you for calling Nestle. Please note your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and coaching purposes. Please press 1 if you would like to hear our privacy statement. Press 2 if you are calling about our Nest Cafe Red Mug Machine. Press 3 for Milo Champions Band. Or press 4 for all other inquiries. Hello, Nestle Consumer Services. You're speaking with Anita. Uh, good afternoon, Anita. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Uh, that's good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Uh, just just curiously wondering, um, I've got a son that's very obsessed with Willy Wonka. Um, I'm just wondering if you guys uh, still have a Willy Wonka chocolate still in stock? Oh, the Willy Wonka chocolates have actually been discontinued quite some time now. Oh, right. And uh, how long has it been discontinued for, madam? Oh, maybe a few years now. So let me double check. Thank you. Oh, um, at least two years now. Really? Okay. okay. Yeah, so it's unlikely that anywhere will have stock, unfortunately. Well, well that's all right. I guess, honestly, it's the best policy is my mother's been telling me. Um, And, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. It doesn't last for fat long for fat people. <laughs> well, <laughs> in a serious note, um, there's been word around in the media... Um, there's someone bang on the Google. There's some report of uh, um, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't really, really believe what's going on in the media. Um, they're saying that uh, they've been finding traces of uh, a dog in the Kit Kat. Um, you know, the making of the the chocolate and the ingredients within the niche of sector. So I'm just kindly wondering if, uh, being as you are actually the Nestle had office, just wondering if that is actually true or false. Sorry, traces of what in Kit Kat? I uh, believe uh, it's uh, like a dog. I don't know what exact part, um, but um, again, it disappeared no. on the news. It could be even a fake news report on the Facebook. But um, yeah, so I'm just about concerned being as I eat it so all. I can confirm that is not true. So Kit Kats are suitable for a vegetarian diet. So there wouldn't be any traces of dog or um um, animals in there. Well, thank God for that. Oh, yeah, I was say. Oh. Yeah. yeah that, right. that is definitely not true. Well, thank God for that. Oh. And that, <laughs> in in terms of um, the new year, obviously being as you know, the new year is a road uh, road around. Um, is there any like a new blocks of cat cat in the making? Um, so this year we did bring out the new um, triple choc well. We've brought back the mint choc well and in independent supermarkets as well, you'll also find our red velvet well. well right, okay. Well, a lot, a lot of uh, lovely options for sure. And, um, you know, that's fair enough. And curiously, I was reading this forum to saying, like, what what do you get when you dip a kitten in chocolate? A kitty cat bar? Ha! Ah! <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I thought it was quite good, so I had to mention it being as you are in the Nestle hat office. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> So it looks like you are very um into chocolate there. Yeah, pretty much. Like my blood type is cholesterol as a result of me eating so much chocolate. But that's the uh. right. Life's too short. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. How's your day been going, madam? Uh, pretty good. Thank you for asking. 
Oh, that's good. And uh, your New Year's resolutions, are you adhering to those? Oh, yes. Um, they're going well. Thanks. That's good. Well, I think you've answered all my questions today, so really appreciate your time and your clarity and diversity. And I do hope you have a great day. You too there. Thanks for calling. No worries. Goodbye. Bye-bye.